Hi guys, how you doing? Papa K here, hope you're all well. Okay, next review, what we're going to do, we're going to look at this. This is the Segeli Moonshot. Now they're calling it an RDTA, but to be honest, it's just a standard RTA, in my opinion. It's a 2ml juice capacity tank. Um, it's made from 304 stainless steel. It's 22mm in diameter. Um, it's got a top fill, and it also comes with this sort of chuff enough sort of top cap yeah that's it's not you can't take that off it's that's basically the top cap for refilling uh, apparently it's supposed to go from 30 watts all the way up to 200 watts no <laughs> no um, it's extremely pretty it's extremely small I mean that's on the Tesla Nano and it's you know very compact uh, lovely little tank. When I first saw this uh, being advertised by Segele, it was a deck that sort of was like, wow, the deck's very unusual. And I will show you that in the close up. Uh, we'll put a build in it as well. Now, this is made, or sorry, it's made by Segele, but it's designed by Supremo in San Jose, California. I take it there's going to be a lot of these American sort of designers out there. I mean, you've got Jabo for Wismic, and then you've got Supremo uh, for Segeli that are developing these, I don't want to say competition devices, but high quality vape gear for us, basically, for us vapors. Um, these big companies in uh, China, you know, Joytech, Wismic, uh, Smok, and now Segeli, are getting. American designers to design these really quite pretty and it's you know I, I could imagine you know, 20, you know two years ago if something like this came out two years ago you'd be looking what 150 150 pound for something like this easy it's 30 pound for this I think I, yeah, I paid 30 pound for this from DNA vapes it was DNA vapes I paid thirty pound for this, and I've had it now. Oh, three weeks I've had the moonshot, and it's it's very unusual. I must admit, it's very unusual. It's almost as if you've got the Geek Vape Griffin and the UD uh, Goblin Mini basically bumped uglies and created this the moonshot. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll go into the close up and I'll show you the moonshot. Okay, guys. Okay, then let's take a look at this moonshot by Segeli. There we go in the box. This is actually a tin, really, really nice, smart little tin box. On the side, you've got your basic scratch and identify panel there, a hologram from Segeli. Nano 22 millimeters. Vape it, love it. And then we have Segeli, Segeli.com, and Supremo, who designed it. Let's open the box. Oops. We've got instructions on how to use the security code. And protective layer. And then we have, upside down, we have the moonshot. And here we go. Let's have a look at this. So we've got built by Segeli.com. Now this drip tip doesn't come off, it's just static. But it'll actually take any standard 510 drip tip. So you can put any 510 drip tip into this top cap really. I mean you've got a good wow. You're looking what? Almost 10 millimetres across there. Yeah, almost 10 millimetres across the top. And you've got your it's top filling, and this unscrews like so. That pops off. It's wafer thin, as you can see, extremely thin. Top fills there. Let's take this apart and have a look inside. That's your deck. The Pyrex glass tank, the chimney section. 
Now the deck itself is quite unusual, it unscrews like so. Actually the whole thing comes out. So there's your 510 pin, it's a gold plated 510 pin, straight through. So it's not adjustable at all, but if we check it like just now, you can see that the 510 actually does protrude. The pin does protrude, so you're safe enough to use this on your hybrid devices. I mean, I tend to use this on my um, Noisy Cricket. On the side, we've got Supremo, and then we've got two baseball bats, and Moonshot, and then you've got the little Supremo Ace of Spades there. I think it's an Ace of Spades. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Or a Spades. I'll screw this again. It's internals. This is all peak insulation. So you've got peak insulator inside. And this part this pops off. And there's the deck. As I said, the deck is quite unusual. Because the airflow is higher than the post holes. You've got two millimetre post holes. And then these are your massive airflow holes that go down to this. So it's 1.5 millimetres high by a good 12 millimetres across that way. You've got two. They're in parallel with each other. So whatever you set one side is the same as the other side. And then this is the deck, as I said. Right, let's pop some coils in here. <clears throat> Actually, I need to put it back in. Pop some coils in. I've got some pre-made ones that I made. Now, because of the way that the airflow is, your legs are going to be extremely long. As you can see, they're very long legs. This is a stainless steel 316L build that I've got. So it's, these are coming out at 0 0.5. <clears throat> well, actually, no, they're coming out at 1.1. But together, in the device, they're coming out at 0 0.55 ohms resistance. So that I can basically use it on my... Uh, Noisy Cricket, my series box. Right, they're straight. In the box, oops, we'll get these out. Right, in the box we've got, <clears throat> for some reason, two Allen keys, two spare screws. We've got a load of spare washers and a spare glass tank. So for £30, it's not bad actually, not bad at all. Right, let's take one of these Allen keys out. Like so. Right. So we've got two... We've got two grub screws up here. That are holding our uh, coils in place. We'll just tighten these down. There's one. And there's the other one. Just straighten these up so they're not touching the deck. There we go. That was easy. <clears throat> I mean, it is an unusual deck, but I've not actually had any issues putting the coils in. So we've got our two stainless steel coils here, which would be ideal for using on a series box mod. Get some cotton. Right, 
Right, I'm going to put some Texas Tough cotton in here. Raw sub ohm vape wick. Not another pansy ass cotton ball. So I'm going to put some of this in. Pull off a strip, like so. Double it over. that through there and trim that off I'll tidy that cotton up in a minute on the other side through that way and there we go It's our cotton, and I just want to trim this so it's flush with the bottom of the deck. Now I've been talking to a few friends on Facebook and they've had issues with the moonshot with wicking, but to be honest, I've had no issues at all. I actually thought I was using far too much cotton, but no issues at all with wicking. In my experience at the moment. Right. Probably still a bit too much on that side. Where's the ring? There is. Right. There's actually, there's, if we can show you this, there's two little cutouts, you see that? And they actually fit with these parts of the airflow. So you pop that on like so. Right, line that up with that. Wrong way. Line that, try again. We're just lining these holes up with it. There we go. So line it up like so. Push some cotton through. Just tidy it up. Excuse the dog barking. There we go. I'll get some juice. Right, I'm going to pop in some sweet monkey, six milligrams, but that's all I've got. <coughs> so some sweet monkey. You know, just get the cotton nice and wet, prime it up. This sweet monkey from Vapor Dreams is like a banana custard. Now Wayne Bratcher's store down in South Wales. Very nice juice. Right, let's pop it into the deck. And it just screws in like so, into the bottom cap. Screws and lights, so we can see the bottom 510 pin protruding. Take the top part with the glass tank, screw this on like so. Make sure the airflow is closed. Juice it up. Gosh, this stuff's thick. 
It only takes two mils this tank. Pop on the top cap. Nice and tight. And there we go. There is the moonshot ready to vape. Okay, guys, I'm going to clean up now and then we'll pop up and tell you what I think of the Segelli moonshot. Hey guys, that was a close up of the Segelli moonshot. I'm repeating myself. And this is why I wanted the moonshot because it looks so perfect on the noisy cricket. Absolutely fantastic on the noisy cricket. Now, in wattage terms, what would that be? That's 0.6. Uh, get Ohm's Law. 0.6. And they're, they're freshly charged batteries. Yeah, so 0.6 with this device. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at about 100 watts. 100 watts. Now, I have taken this up to 200 watts, and it was nasty. It was just burnt. I had to change the cotton. So, I mean, Segelli's claims that this can do 30 to 200 watts. Mm. As I said, I've got a 0.6 building here. I suppose he built lower and lower, but I've not tried that yet. I do have some of the NI Flat 21. It's not out yet, but uh, I'm going to try an NI Flat build in this at sub ohm and see how we get on that way. But 100 watts, roughly, on the noise of cricket. Wow. I know that people have been complaining about it not wicking properly. I've had no issues at all with it wicking. And you saw how much cotton I put in the build. I mean, I'm using the stainless steel. Um, if I tend to stick to stainless steel 316L when I'm building for the Noisy Cricket because I like to build in a bit of 0.6 mark for the Noisy Cricket because it is a series box mod. And I found that the Moonshot is absolutely perfect for it. You saw the size of the deck, it was dead easy to put the wires in. It's... I find it very simple for what it is. Uh, well, you've only got two post holes. It's a very simple deck. The legs, I mean, I suppose a lot of the resistance has come from the length of those legs, because they are probably you know, 11, 12 millimetres in length, the legs. But any issues? No, no issues. And it just throws the vapour, really throws the vapour, and the flavour is just, oh, really, really nice. I mean, there's the Goblin Mini, right? I've got the Goblin Mini. It's a fraction, sh a fraction shorter than the Goblin Mini. Fraction shorter. Both 22mm devices. The Goblin Mini... It's all right. This, I love the moonshot. I think it's a brilliant rebuildable tank atomizer. I'm sure there is a build I can put in this, and I will get up to 200 watts. I've not done it yet. Um, I have experimented over the past three weeks and been unsuc unsuccessful and burnt my cotton. So on the noise of cricket at 0 0.6 with stainless steel 316L, I'm happy. I'm enjoying this vape. It's coming out at 100 watts, as I said, and it's lovely. It's pleasant it's not too hot because you've got that massive bore on the drip tip and you've got really really good airflow it's a pleasant vape and it wicks superbly and honest i mean i know that i know that Segelli are calling this a rebuildable dripping tank atomizer the flavor that you're getting from it is on par with an rda I have to admit, it is on par with an RDA. Much, much better than the Aromamizer RDTA. I mean, it's leagues ahead of the uh, Aromamizer RDTA. And it looks nicer as well. It's not got a stupid rubber ring. Stupendous. Absolutely stupendous. Wicked lovely. Anyway, guys. So that was the Segelli Moonshot. Designed by Supremo in California.
two big thumbs up. I love it. It's a great RTA. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much, and speak to you all soon. Bye!